Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Well, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to Circle Time with Mrs. Juanita. And we're going to get ready to go to Circle Time and do a good morning song. But I just wanted to let you know, in our song, when I say it's good to see, you need to say your name. Okay, boys and girls? All right, let's go. Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? How are you this morning? It's good to see. Here, that's right. It's good to see. Here, it's good to see. Here, how are you this morning? Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? How are you this morning? It's good to see. Here it's good to see. Here it's good to see. Here, how are you this morning? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you this morning? It's good to see. Here it's good to see Miss Juanita here. It's good to see everyone here. How are you this morning? Well, I hope everyone is fine today and ready to go. All right, boys and girls. So let's ready, get ready to do our day of the week. Here we go. So yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. Very good, boys and girls. So, we are going to do our numbers next, and then we will sing our ABC song. Ready? Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Very good, boys and girls. And of course, we cannot forget our guardian angel reminding us to pray to Jesus to keep us safe. All right, boys and girls. So we're done with that. Now let's do our ABC song. You ready? Let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Yay! Very good, boys and girls. And now, guess what time it is? Time to do the weather. Let's see. What is the weather like outside your window today? As I look out my window, I can see that it is bright and the sun is out in the sky today. So what kind of day do you think it's going to be, boys and girls? Did you say a sunny day? Oh, yeah, it's a sunny day. Very good, boys and girls. God has made a sunny day. It's a sunny day. It's a sunny day. God has made a sunny day. Yay! Very good. And now... Who remembers what we've been talking about this week? Let's see. 
it begins with the uh, j and it has the j sound. Do you remember? If you said Jamaica, you would be correct because we've been talking about children around the world all week. Okay, so now that we remember what that is, I want you to think about it. But we're going to read a story and then we're going to do some craft, okay? All right, boys and girls, let me get my special helper. Uh-oh, it fell. I have to get it, boys and girls. Oh, good job. Oh, here it goes. Miss Juanita's found her special helper. And it's my glasses. I'm going to put it on. And I'm going to read your story for you today. And today, I am going to read for you The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. And Eric Carl wrote the word, so he's the author. Very good. And the person who draws the pictures is called the illustrator. So let's go. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he had threw one apple, but he was still hungry. One apple. On Tuesday, he had threw two pears, but he was still hungry. One, two. On Wednesday, he had threw three plums, but he was still hungry. One, two, three. On a Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. One green leaf. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, 
pushed his way out and can you guess what happened next boys and girls let's see this is the cocoon the caterpillar he built a cocoon around himself and then he bit a little hole in it and pushed his way out now do you know what happened next let's see if you can guess oh my he was a beautiful butterfly the end did you like my story very good boys and girls Okay, boys and girls, so now that we have read the very hungry caterpillar one, I want you to do for me is to tell your mommies and daddies what fruits did the caterpillar eat through. Try to remember as many as you can and mommy and daddy will tell you if you are correct as they go over the video with you. And for our art, art and craft today, we will be making a butterfly. Miss Juanita tried to do one yesterday, but to show you how to do it, it didn't work that well. But uh, because uh, my papers are at school, so I will look through the house just like mommies and daddies can do because some of us have some beautiful gifts that we didn't even open for Christmas or from our birthdays. If we had birthdays earlier this year. And maybe we can find some tissue paper that the, the gifts are wrapped in or is in the bag. Because we are trying to use stuff from home being as we are all stuck at home and can't or anywhere really so this is tissue paper that I pulled from a gift bag and we are going to make butterflies so I just use a dish or anything that's round big and round like this and I'm just gonna cut it out it's fairly easy I'll just cut three at the same time so mommy's gonna have to help you or daddy's who are um, inclined to do crafts and stuff you just cut around it doesn't have to be perfect the kids will enjoy it and you're just gonna cut around and you don't have to do this if you have coffee filters at home, regular coffee filters, because I tried to use uh, a different kind of coffee filter and it didn't work well for me, but I did it anyway. So just cut around and then you can discard this part or the guys can tear it. And glue it because it helps them to build their pincher muscles fine motor skills if you want to say that and then I'm gonna put those aside because I just want to show you how it works then you're gonna fold the paper and you're gonna take marker and if you don't have markers, I'm just going to show you um, with the other ones. Or you can use crayons. Alright. So here we go. Let's move this aside for now. You're going to take the marker. And you're going to color. Oops. All over. Okay. 
now I'm going to take my spray bottle and let me say here these are not my original ideas but teachers use teacher stuff so we do this in my classroom and so I know that some of you really need something to do to keep the kids occupied so these are just some craft ideas that you can do with the kids and you just want to wet it just enough for the color to bleed through okay and so it comes through on the other side without them having to color the old thing so this takes a little bit of input from mommy and daddy as well right and when you open it depending on the type of crayon you use this is what you will get and you know this paper is kind of delicate the coffee filter is much stronger so now when it comes out like this you are going to just squish it in the middle like that and then I'm using a pipe cleaner so we're gonna put the pipe cleaner around um, I mean you could tie it with a ribbon or something anything that can work and you tie it here because this is going to be the butterflies antenna and there we have a beautiful butterfly now this is the one I had made to make sure it works and I'm going to show it to you in a little bit with a different uh, pipe cleaner and you will see that it works just as well but it was two different ones these are from one of those spiffy coffee machines <laughs> and I tried to use it but we're at home and we're just trying to use whatever is around the, the house um, trash is treasure for preschool teachers or early childhood educators so now you see some of the stuff that we have to do to get our projects going so this is our butterfly and here we go you can use any color let me hold it this way so you can see yes any color you want and if you don't want to use the water method we can just give the guys crayons and I'm gonna use one of my books to try and not let the it break and let me try to do it so they can use this to color and like I said I'm using tissue paper tissue paper is much more delicate than the coffee filter so the coffee filter won't break this that easily because I'm telling you from experience I use this coffee filters in my class all the time with the little ones and it works perfectly so this crayon is even working much better than the marker and they can use whatever color they want to use it's just something to keep them occupied and to keep their brain and their fingers working and now I am going to I have two here I just want to open it and take it out so you see these are very thin but the coffee filter is much stronger and I think for you guys at home doing the crayon method might be more easier and they can make as many butterflies as they want to to make and you just use the pipe cleaner to go around it and make as many as you want to make so that is our craft activity for today we'll be right back and we continue with our lesson about Jamaica. 
So as promised, boys and girls, here we go. Here is my first try at making the butterfly from home with whatever waste paper I could find. And see, it came out just fine. So it doesn't have to be perfect. The whole fact of the matter is trying to spend some quality time with the kids and making, um, getting them to be engaged. And they will love this. They love working with markers and crayons. Also, this was the, the one, the wet one. Okay. And this is the one with just the crayons. And I don't know if you can see the colors, but it came out just fine too. And if you don't have pipe cleaners, use anything that you think could substitute a ribbon, something, and just tie a bow for the kids. All right, so that's that for the butterflies. I hope you have fun making the butterflies. And there are lots and lots of fruits in Jamaica. And so, we have butterflies and caterpillars that are unique to the island and they do eat the fruits too so this is in keeping with our lessons you can also um let me take off my special glasses and put it gently away um you can also make caterpillars out of egg cartons so those of my friends in the Caribbean if you don't have um, if you have the that cardboard kind of egg carton you just need to cut it in two they just need one side and they can color it paint it put buttons on it for eyes on one end and something to use as antennas tie a string on it and pull it all over the place they have a caterpillar on the go so with that let's go to Jamaica I have something to share with you today okay boys and girls so as promised here we go we're gonna take a look at Jamaica at a glance so we got gone away okay so this is the shape of my beautiful island and these are the colors of the Jamaican flag, black, green, and gold or yellow. So, Miss Juanita is from up there. And this is a picture of people coming to the island, to the hotels, and they are doing horseback riding, and they are probably at Chuckle Cove. This is another view of the island you're looking out over the Caribbean Sea see how blue it is and this is another view from an from a hotel somewhere on the north coast runaway bay Montego Bay Autorius that's what it's like and this is a picture of a Jamaican street long time ago everywhere you go you almost always have a view of the ocean like over here pretty blue skies and some of the um, Jamaican buildings as you can see and this is somebody rafting these are called bamboo and they are rafting either on the Martha Bray or they are on White River this is a picture of Jamaican kids at school this school is primary or elementary and this one too they are from kindergarten up to elementary level. That's where primary starts in Jamaica. And they wear uniforms as you can see. This is a picture of high school children. I was gonna say girls, but there are boys in there too. So they also wear uniform. And this is a favorite Jamaican sport. We call it football other people say soccer and Jamaicans are very good at that too now as you can see they have on their traditional wear Miss Juanita has on a headgear this morning I didn't do my light theirs but we have the same color they are doing a dance probably right through the rocky road 
Yes, that's what that is. And kids are involved in there as well, as you can see. This is the Jamaica National Folk Singers. And it's a group of people that go around and sing songs. And these are some volunteers. I bet they're down in Jamaica doing some work down there, building houses or helping people to have better health. Something of that sort they are doing down there. And we have people come there all the time for that kind of thing. See how some of the houses are. This is a lady in her garden. I know this picture was taken somewhere up in the Blue Mountains. This is a picture of children at the primary school level. Again, elementary. And this is one building, one school building in Jamaica. This is just the front of it. And this is school children again. I think they're having a fun day. And in Jamaica, they have houses. I think they're wearing the color of their school house. Mm -hmm. That's their team. Mm -hmm. This is called the Maypole Dance. And this is one of my favorite to watch. I cannot dance this dance. I wish I could. But it's very beautiful to see. This picture, this is called the Jankunu Band. They are kind of like a, a masquerade kind of thing. Miss Juanita is scared of them. I was scared of them when I was a child. But they come out at Christmas. And these are some of our athletes. This is Usain Bolt and one of his other colleagues. And they are athletes. They run. And now this is a band, a musical band. And we have lots of Rastafarians in Jamaica grow their hair long. And they are good at music, just like this gentleman. And carving. They are good at carving, playing the drum, and making music. They don't really comb their hair. The end. I hope you liked that presentation. So from the little bit that you have seen, I hope you realize that there's lots of things in Jamaica for children and adults to enjoy. If you're not from my Highland, Jamaica, I would like to invite you to go down and to see what the place is like. And I'm sure that you would like to go back when you go. Okay, so just before I leave for today, I want to remind my friends to always cough in your shirt. <coughs> you sneeze and cough in your shirt to make sure that your germs don't go on anybody. And remember to wash your hands properly. Turn on the water, wet your hands, get the soap, scrub, 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 bubble, bubble, bubble. Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash the germs away. Rub and scrub and rub and scrub. Germs go down the drain. And you turn off the water with your paper towel. And for my beautiful parents, remember to keep them safe. Lock the doors. Keep the pool entrances closed, please. And watch out for those electrical objects and sharp objects around the house. Until we meet again, like we say in Jamaica, bye-bye, goodbye, walk good. See you next time. Bye.